so here's another fruit from uh, the Montreal market, uh, the John Talon market. I think I'm getting worse at this now. <laughs> so this is one that uh, I've been using this as my camera stand. Actually, I'm using it right now as my camera stand. It came in one of these little little containers like this. It is a very tiny little cucumber. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? It looks like the little like baby gherkins that you can get. Maybe that's where these come where those come from. Um, but it was sold to me as a micro cucumber. And uh, yeah, I picked it up because I've never seen anything this tiny. I've seen some small cucumbers, but not any this tiny. And I believe this is related to the English cucumber? Maybe? You know, there's like a, you know, there are cucumbers here that are very like long and thin. They look like this, but like they are maybe about yay long and like a little bit wider. I actually grabbed a slice of one from one of the tasting tables here. They're about like that wide. Not as wide as your traditional cucumbers that you get in the U.S. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the name of this type of cucumber is. As you can see, this one is, you know, much smaller than that um, in circumference, but also length, obviously. Uh, this is just like the size of like my, my pinky. I nabbed this just so I can get like a kind of like a control cucumber to compare this with because cucumbers are such like a mild fruit. I think it probably probably would be like a handy thing to do. So I'm gonna try this. Tastes like a cucumber. Maybe nicer than the ones that you know we get in the US. It's got nice crispiness to it. It's got like a little bit of a sweetness to it. And a very strong cucumber flavor, much stronger than the ones we get in the U.S. that are like big and dark um, and thick. Like those ones um, taste like cucumbers, but they're like very like watery. And the texture on them is kind of like not so good. A little more like spongy, not so crispy. So let's see how this stacks up. Um, it's okay. It's not great, honestly. It's got a lot more of a green flavor to it. Like a lot more chlorophyll. It tastes a little bit like um, like a green bean. It does have like a cucumber flavor in it, but if you tweaked with it, if you kind of like, you know, cucumbers are a fruit that people use as a vegetable. This tastes more like a vegetable. Yeah, interesting. I think I can probably think of a lot of things to do with this thing, but if I were to pick this up, expecting. To be to use it as a t traditional cucumber, it would work, but it would definitely add more of a, veg a vegetable flavor to uh, what you're making. It'd be a little bit, a little, uh, little beany tasting, a little greeny tasting, a little vegetable tasting, but um, not bad. Just different, different. You know, I like cucumbers, and um, you know, honestly, like if I were to sit down and just like eat cucumbers. Um, I could do that. I wouldn't want to do it with this one. It's not nearly as refreshing as a normal cucumber. This is more like something I would cook with or put in something than eat on its own. But otherwise, it's pretty good and it's adorable. That is the most important thing. If you want to eat nothing but adorable food, this is a great one to pick up. Hey, before you click out, I want to give a very special shout out to Sebastian. Sebastian was very kind to give a generous contribution to my channel over on Patreon. So Sebastian, thank you so much for helping me out. Uh, if you would like to help me out as well, you may want to check out the link that is around me right now to my Patreon page where you can learn more about how to help my channel grow. Uh, I also have t-shirts for sale. This is the Durian Anatomy shirt which I have on my website. Also, subscribing is a big help. Clicking the bell is a help. Clicking like and leaving a comment, that's all very useful too. So if you haven't done any of those things, guys, please consider it. Otherwise, guys, I will see you next time.